All right, tree eagles, what's that then? So it's here, it's now, it's game day. Yeah! Yeah! Oh, fucking in the ball! What's happening? Back for some more pain? Well, come and join me on my journey then, as we venture to another wedding venue. It's here, it's now, it's game day. We'll wait for this one. We're off to the Proac Stadium. It's Chesterfield v Barnet. Core, two wedding venues in the space of two weeks. Kind of feel like Owen Wilson and Vince Vaughn from the film Wedding Crashers. Thought I'd turn up and fuck some shit up, really. Got nothing else to do on a Saturday. Anyway, that's enough for chatting bollocks. Let's get into the football news. So Chesterfield was relegated from League 2 last season when they finished rock bottom at 24th place. They played 46 and they won 10. They drew 8 and lost 28. Scored 47, conceded 83, giving them a goal difference of minus 36. And they ended on 38 points. And they joined us in the National League because we was relegated. Moving on, now Chesterfield's last five games have been three wins and two losses. Manager watch. <laughs> Now, do I really have to tell you who their manager is? Do it! Just do it! What are you waiting for? Do it! Just do it! Yes, you can! Just do it! All right, Shire, calm the fuck down. Martin only joined Chesterfield at the beginning of this season, and it still hurts. He's only taken five games, and it's been three wins and two losses, because I literally just said what their last five games have been. But that gives him a 60% win percentage. Better than what we've got. Don't worry, he'll be back for a sixth time. It's on the cards, it's inevitable, it will happen. Now Chesterfield's danger men are number 11, Zavon Hines, who's got three goals and two assists in five. Now the last meeting between us away ended in some fantastic defending display by Barnett. So we pretty much just picked up from last season really where we are now. Chesterfield picked up all three points and a 2-1 victory. John Akindi getting the only goal for Barnett. And the last time we beat Chesterfield away was back in 2012, a 90 minute winner from the spot little mark burn so let's get to the grand let's get some team news in let's get three points and then let's get the fuck out of town fuck you chesterfield i was pissed when i built the spire on the church and now it's a part of british history no it ain't you bunch of wankers that's piss poor craftsmanship you nicked our manager you nicked our coaching staff you even nicked some of our players just like easley did and look how well it turned out for them you've just lost two in advance your boat's starting to rot come home martin allen <laughs> And I need you, and I miss you. Come on, Barnet! Was in and we're going with a different formation today. We're going with a 3 5 2. So Cousins starts in goal. He's free centre arse today of Elliot Johnson, who's normally a left back, Craig Robson, and Dan Sweeney. Going in at right full back is Shea Alexander. Left full back is Totonda. Your two centre mids of Charlie Adams and Fongook. Mason Clark is going in at the number 10 role. And up front is Jack Byron making his first start for the club and Byron Harrison. And this is how Chesterfield line up with two XBs in the starting 11. <laughs> 10 minutes in, still 0 0. First attempt by Barnett. Charlie Adams with a shot from about 20 yards. Keep the ball of a great save. We went for a corner, but nothing come of it. Great shot, great save. 20 minutes in, it's still 0 0, but we are looking a lot better than what we have done in previous games. There's a lot of pressure. We're focused, we're pushing. Half hour in, it's still 0 0. A lot of the plays been played in the middle of the park by both teams. One chance from us, so they could keep the ball of a good save. They've not tested us at the moment. Comfortable for both teams right now. Two minutes after that, Chesterfield have a half volley. 
was on sport for a good save. We went for a corner, but nothing came of it. Still nil nil. Five to half. Still nil nil. Just thought giving up. Down how long's left? Just before half time. Still nil nil. Free kick for Chesterfield comes in. It's dangerous. We've got everyone back again. They still win the header. We've got 11 men in our box, and they still win it. How does that work? We've got more men to defend the ball. Basics. Half time here at the Park Stadium. It's Chesterfield nil. Barnet nil. As a team, this has been our best performance all season, and we've only played 45 minutes collectively as a team. But going forward in that final third again, we are struggling. Most of the players have been in the midfield by both of the teams. Games there to be won by both sides. Been better. Just need to up it down the final third to get a goal. Massive 45 minutes coming up now. Come on, Barnet. Look here! Look here, Jack! Oh, Jack! 60 minutes in, it's still nil nil. Not much has changed. Von Gook put the ball into the box. It weeded it always round. Jack Barham's got the ball. He's had a shot. He should have laid it off and it's just gone for a goal kick. I don't know how he managed to do that. 20 minutes ago, we just cleared one off the line. Easy tapping, but Sweeney saved us there. Fuck off, Nels. It's it. It's it. It's it. Fuck! 15 to go, it's still nil nil. We break from a corner from them. Shaq does some brilliant play. Nelson tries tripping him up. I see that. Plays through the Tonda. He's in the box, he's getting closer to the goal, closer to the goal. Fucking shoot, mate. Stop trying to walk it in. Yes! Yes! Oh! Fuck! Anywhere else, that's a fucking goal! From the corner, Elliot plays in Jack Taylor. He knocks it to Elliot, he puts the ball in. Dan Sweeney unmarked. He's had a shot, it's straight out of keeper. Almost 10 to go, still nil-nil. Go on, Jack. Yes! Take a bow, son. I mean that. Take a bow. One minute to go. Chesterfield nil, Barnet one. Oh, fucking rocket. Left foot by Jack Taylor. You fucking beauty. Now we're into the 90th and they just added on four minutes. Oh, Chesterfield just had a goal disallowed. Muggle in with a throw. I'm not going to lie. I couldn't see why it was disallowed from here. I don't give a shit. I'm taking it. It's the first time we've taken the lead this season. We've got our first win of the season. Chesterfield nil, Barnet one. The game finished, Chesterfield nil, Barnet won. First win of the season, three points in the bag, get in there. I thought that's the best we've played as a team so far this season. Love the new formation, massive fan of the 3-5-2. A lot of play was stuck in the middle of the park for most of the game. Full backs were getting involved as well, but there was no end product from either side. Thought the game was heading for a nil-nil, but then Jack Taylor steps up in the last minute of the game, edge of the box, Ben's went in with his left foot, top corner, you beauty, pick that one at. But when I say that's the best we've played this season, that says a lot. We was organised, we were disciplined, we actually were fighting for each other and, it, and that's why I like the 3-5-2. And a massive shout out to Elliot Johnson who played centre half. I thought he was man of the match when normally he's a left back. Change for him. He was comfortable. He dealt with absolutely everything. The whole team done their job. I don't know if Martin Allen went a bit easy on us to give us our first win. I don't know. One thing I'll say though, Chesterfield fans, don't write Martin Allen off just yet. As someone who absolutely loves the bloke. He's been with us five times. We know what he can do. Stick with him. You've just lost three in the bounce. It's not great, but give him time. Trust me, he will turn it around. But thank you very much to every single one of you that did join in in a minute's applaud for Chris East, who unfortunately did sadly pass away. So thank you very much for joining in on that. We really do appreciate that. So we go again. We get one day rest and we're back again tomorrow. Bank holiday Monday, where we're home to Dagenham and Redbridge. So don't forget to the usual like, subscribe, comment, below, share, all of that stuff. So until next time, take care.